How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. Speaker repair. And uh, as you can see, these speakers I've got, we need to do some repairs on the tweeter cones for these two and the actual woofer cone for this speaker. Now, there's numerous ways to do this. One, you can obviously cut that dome out, put a new dome in, uh, replace the tweeters if you want. But a quick fire way, and you need a very steady hand and a lot of concentration to do this, is to use this, the humble vacuum cleaner. Now I've done this millions of times, but you need to be very careful how you do it because you can actually destroy the speaker. Uh, I learned this trick when I was six or seven years old. It was shown to me, and I've used it many times. And, and look, as long as the cone's not damaged, so this is not damaged, this trick works. So I'm gonna show you what to do. First off, get your vacuum cleaner. We'll just pull this end bit off. Hang on, I've got to take the end off it. I've got the end off it. The other thing you want to do is uh, open your suction relief valve. Now, the reason you do this is you don't want a lot of suction on this. You only want to be able to just edge it out. The other thing is if you've got a variable power vacuum cleaner, you want to make it as minimal as possible. So you want to turn the power down. And what you do is you hold it, without actually touching the cone, you hold it as close to the cone as possible and pull back. Same with the tweeter. Um, now the other thing is if you've got a brush end, that's probably not a bad idea. Unfortunately, I don't have a brush end. So we've got to do this very carefully. In some cases, if the cone or the dome in the middle of the speaker is uh, broken from being pushed in, as in there's a slit in the actual cone, this repair may or may not work, okay? Um, if, you have, if you know what you're doing, that's fine. If you don't know how to do it or you don't trust yourself doing it, don't do it. In some, in some cases, the speakers don't tend to suffer, but uh, depending on the depth of the speaker and where the magnet is in relation to the dome, often when the speaker is being, you know, pumped, if the in and out movement causes this to hit the magnet, you will get some distortion. So, let's see how we go. You turn your vacuum cleaner on. You see there I'm being very careful. We might have to increase the power a little bit. Can you see there? Popped it out. We'll do the same thing over here. And there you go. Can you see there? Now if you had this one you would do the same. Now we're going to need a little bit more power to get that one out because you can see there, it's fairly dented. So we'll turn the power up just a bit. You don't want to turn it up too much. Okay. What you want to do... You might have to give it a bit to get it to do it. Okay, we're going to need a lot more power for the sub, or for the woofer. See there, coming out. Alright, so you can see there I've got a couple of small little dints. And we'll probably be able to get them out on a lower suction. Maybe. They are only small. see there I've still got I've managed to get it out there's some you can see actually where the fingers have pushed it in they almost fit those three fingers so it almost looks like three fingers have pushed that dome in so that's that's better and uh, obviously if you have 
got the ability, you'd probably want to try and suck these out, but it looks like, you can see there, it's got three fingers. So, that's one way to repair the dome, and um, it's actually a very nifty way of repairing it. Um, and as I said, I've done it on many cones, I've done it both on this sort, on paper cones, very early speakers that had the very furry domes on them, and in some cases on polyprop speakers as well. You know, like car audio speakers and, and newer speakers, I've managed to pull the domes out using a vacuum cleaner. Now you can also see here, with the, uh, with the tweeter there, there's still some marks there. But it's a lot better and it will, should in theory, prolong the life of the cones. Alright, so there's a little tip for fixing your speaker cones. Remember one thing though, you do it at your own risk. So if you have the vacuum cleaner up too high and you pull the dome off, that's your fault, no one else's. Anyway, so there's a quick video on a uh, speaker repair. It doesn't look really good, I admit that, but if we put the covers back on, and get the covers on properly, you really can't tell. Now, all right, if I leave the covers on it, I can't see the dome speaker. But me being me, and when it comes to speakers, I like the speakers not to not just to look nice with the covers on, but if I decide to leave the covers off, I don't want the speakers to look, you know, really dented. I know you can still see it on the sub, or not the sub, on the woofer, but it doesn't look as bad as what it did being all punched in. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope that helps you out. Please like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos being uploaded today. Cheers.